In other news, the women who got kicked off the Napa Valley wine train filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit today. KPIX 5 reporter Ann Makovic has details on the claim of racial discrimination. In my wildest dreams, never did I imagine that um, our annual trip to Napa would end up with us being kicked into a dirt lot in the hot sun to waiting police officers. Members of the book club Sisters of the Reading Edge lined up with tales of humiliation and a lawsuit filed in federal court. As you can see from their cell phone footage, things started out fine as the group of 11 was headed out on a three-hour tour on the Napa Valley wine train in August until they were told twice to quiet down and then they were told they'd be kicked off the train. I said, what? Kick us off the train. I can't believe this. And sure enough, that's what they did. Catherine Neal is 85 years old. Linda Carlson, the only white woman in the group. I truly believe that from the moment we got on that train, we were singled out. When they were kicked off, they were escorted through six cars full of other guests, then met outside by the St. Helena police. That was the most humiliating experience that I have ever had in my entire life. Made worse, they say, by comments posted on social media and news articles. Two of the women believe it cost them their jobs. It's horrible. It really is. The things that have happened to us, people don't think it's real. But it's absolutely real. The Napa Valley wine train has apologized to the women. The business has since been sold. But a spokesperson sent out a statement saying the Napa Valley wine train takes the allegations of discrimination very seriously. We are conducting our own investigation. The new owner is honored to continue to improve and build upon the Napa Valley wine train experience. The lawsuit seeks $11 million in damages, $1 million for each woman kicked off the train. In San Francisco, Ann McAvoy.